If you're a beginner and aren't the best at stringing together lines and special tricks, the easiest way to get the six score as well as the combo objective in Maul is utilizing a special grind trick. Make your way down past the starting ramps and head over to the right side of the map. Build up your special meter and stand still next to the edge of this ledge. Jump in the air and perform a special grind trick for the entire length while trying not to wreck. Once you reach the end of the ledge, jump in the air and continue the combo by quickly hitting up then down on the d-pad to manual. After that, quickly tap either circle then square if you're on the PlayStation or B then X on the Xbox to get into the two rail manual trick. After this, you want to spam square or X to build up your combo. Once your balance meter begins to get shaky or you're comfortable with the score, just jump and land the trick. The letter S is right at the bottom of the starting area on the grind rail. After you get that, keep heading straight and veer to the right where you will see the K along this ledge. On the way to get the letter A, you can also complete the airwalk challenge by jumping off of this kicker right here and holding down either circle or B while simultaneously holding the analog stick diagonally down towards the right or pressing right and down on the D-pad at the same time. Once you land that, the letter A will be right in front of you. Continue down the map and you'll find the last two letters easily. The next challenge we'll be tackling is the directories you must smash. As soon as you go down the starting area, you want to head up this little ramp that'll be right in front of you where you will find the first one. After that, just continue forward and make this double jump here using the mall statue where the second one will be waiting as well. If you mess up this jump, however, you can also use the ramp that's directly to your left to just skate up and get it the easy way. Jump down and at the end before you hit the staircase, the third directory can be found. The fourth and fifth ones are pretty hard to miss as you just need to keep going down the map naturally and you will see them along the way. The next challenge is collecting all five robots. The first one can be found above a planter once you leave the starting area and veer to the right. To get the second one, you then need to turn around and go back up the ramp that we used earlier and make the double jump again with the robot right in the middle of the statue. After that, you need to jump off to the right side while trying to avoid falling all the way down to the next level as the third robot is right here along this rail. Once you ollie off of the rail, try to grind once more along these suspended rails like I do. This way you can knock out the secret tape as well. Once you've landed, you want to turn around and smash these panes of glass right here and you'll be able to see the robot inside of the store. And finally, the fifth one is just a little bit further down on top of this little ledge here that can be easily missed if you're just going too fast and focusing on tricks and not paying attention. Next challenge we have is nose grinding the coffee grind gap. You want to make your way down from the start and head to the left where this rail is located. To nose grind, you just want to press up on the d-pad or analog stick while simultaneously pressing the grind button. Make sure you grind the entire length of the rail or you won't get the gap. 